Okay, so we're out here in the garden and today I need to do a little bit of a, give a little bit of attention to all these tomatoes. These were planted the 1st of June and I was kind of thinking that it was a late planting, but really these things are just about ready to start producing a lot of tomatoes. So I kind of need to go in there and help string them up a little bit. They need some attention. While I'm doing that, the kids are picking ground cherries. We have got ground cherries, like an infinite amount of ground cherries. They just keep coming. Yep, sure do. They sure do. They're just never ending amount of ground cherries. And then we've got this plant right here, which I left because it was a volunteer and I thought it was something that's edible, but now we find out that it's called Indian Mallow. And it can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage to farmers. That's right. Farmer Jay's got an app that tells you what kind of plant it is. And it basically says that this is going to destroy your garden and ruin your entire crop if you let it go. So we are going to get rid of this thing before it does any damage. Cherries. Yeah, and you guys are picking ground cherries. Yeah, seven and a six-year-old picking ground cherries. Well, you can't really tell too awful much what I did out here with the tomatoes, but there was a lot of branches that were kind of starting to reach out and didn't have anything to support them, so it's just a matter of time before they started breaking off, but I feel pretty comfortable about everything that I did here. It's, you can't really tell. I'm, it's hard to differentiate what's going on here, but I feel uh, pretty good about the, the structure, stability of everything. Um, so these plants are looking good, and um, I'm really happy with how this row of tomatoes have turned out. Um, I think next year, Spacing them a little bit further apart and just approaching it the same way. I'll have really really good results and uh, That weed that I pulled here I'll show you guys how big this thing is uh, But that app farmer Jay has that identifies plants has been really helpful Over the last couple of months coming across a few things so I really thought this was going to be something edible when it first showed itself um, Just as a volunteer, but apparently it is not good for the garden, so it's quite the uh, quite the plant there. Anyway, that's what I got for today, guys. Just kind of a little bit of slow putzing around in the garden. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.